Shalom, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. And I'm going to entitle this video Galatians chapter 1, verses 11 to the very end. I'm going to give you the very last precept to 24. And um, you can really read the whole chapter. Because the Apostle Paul speaks about anybody that uh, teaches a different gospel will be a uh, will be a curse. Let him be a curse. So here, this is uh, Paul's. The, the the heading is Paul defends his ministry. He remember in Acts he got knocked off the horse. And he was uh, converted. Let me let me get that. I believe that's Acts uh, thirteen and twenty six. If if not if I'm not mistaken, let's see if I'm correct. Let me try it this way, I'm sorry. Okay, that's not it. Maybe it's Acts 26 and 13. Let me try this. Twenty six. Okay, I had it mixed up. It's Acts 26, verse 13. I'll start at 12. Because there was a statement made by uh, the head of Sakari, which is Alazar, that uh, some Edomite, or which sounds like an Edomite, he was going into uh, Apostle Paul speaking to uh, Agrippa, I believe, one of the um, Herodians, and he said something to the effect of, I wish that you can all be believers or become Christians. So the guy in the audience asked, and I'm going to let you hear it, asked um, Alizar about that, and he said something, you'll, you'll hear, hear it. Some to the effect that he was confused, so the guy responded by saying, "So is Paul the author of confusion?" Which, by the way, the the term "author of con confusion" is in um, uh, First Corinthians chapter fourteen, and uh, that's a statement that Paul made. So when the guy asked him, "Is Paul the author of confusion?" and um, Alazar said, "Yes, Paul is the author of confusion." So, when you say that Paul is an author of confusion, that anything that the Apostle Paul said, all of his writings, is basically all confusion, so you throw all those books out. So, that's dangerous, you know? So, let me go ahead and read this. Acts 26, verse 12, whereupon, as I went... To demand, oh, by the way, this is called defending the gospel. Something that a lot of you people don't do, you don't study. And if you have a question, you'll ask us, could you break this down and tell me what this means? And you're the same motherfucker that, uh, <laughs> I'm talking about in general. I'm not talking about any pers uh, person, pers uh, person in particular. But you got guys that are being experts 
but they always ask some questions to break this down, break that down, because they don't they don't do the research. A lot of stuff they don't do the research on, and we got to be here doing the research, and we got to defend the gospel. And when you got got a guy, I'm just saying in general. I'm not talking about any particular one person. If you got a guy that claims he's a prophet of the Lord, one of the elect, he's an Israelite, former one West, or whatever the case may be. And he does maybe a video once every five months. Then at one time he was going out. I'm using the, like I said, I'm not talking about any person in particular. He puts up a video, maybe a 15 minute video once every five months. Or sometimes two years. And then he'll kind of come back when something major happens. That's not, that's not a man of the Lord. He's not the elect. He's not a, a prophet. Okay? So, and I said that because I said that because, like I said, you got people that have been in Israel for years and do not study and research and, as the scriptures say, search the scriptures. But they'll, they'll, they'll take the easy route out and they'll ask one of us to break it down. And then sometimes they'll say, oh, you broke that down wrong. A lot of people say, well, you broke that down wrong. It doesn't mean that. And you know what you know, we normally do? We click on his page and there's nothing on there. He just put the site up a month ago. Or there might be booty shaking videos up there. So you got Jake that don't take this thing serious, man. Anyway, it says, uh, I was appalled when I heard this. I'm going to let you listen. Drinking this detox, herbal detox. Tastes horrible. Okay, let me. Uh... Oh, a question: If the if if the Apostle Paul was the author of confusion, as Alaz Alazar agreed to, he's got to have to take. He's going to have to explain himself. Who? Among the apostles, he would be considered apostle number 13, the 12 original apostles, and he was an apostle too, so we can call him the 13th apostle, the 13th apostle. If he was not, if he was a guy that just, you know, he was an author of confusion, then why would the, why would Yahweh Bashem Yahushai set him up to be the apostle to the Gentiles? Is that to confuse the Gentiles? Because he really doesn't want the Gentiles, Israelites, in an Israel, Gentile state of mind? No. So he was a special, he had a bigger job than the other 12. There was more books written. If you took, if you took out all the uh, references or books, chapters or whatever, books of the Apostle Paul, you would have a small, you would have a little booklet. You only have a few, you have the four Gospels, you have the Book of James, Jude, uh, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, Revelation. You wouldn't have Romans, you wouldn't have, well, Acts. Um, Acts is, is, speaks about Paul starting from uh, the seventh verse, the seventh chapter, rather. And he was, uh, bi he was bigged up by the head, the head apostle, which was uh, Peter. He said, uh, you know, not too many words that the apostle Paul goes deep and it goes over people's heads so anyway anyway let me read this it said whereupon as and we're here to to, to uh, defend the gospel okay whereupon as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests meaning the wicked chief priests scribes and Pharisees the same people that came up to uh, John the Baptist and he cursed them out. He called them a bunch of vipers. Well, well, guess what? The Apostle Paul was one of them vipers too. But he did it in his ignorance. He even says that. He said, I did this in, the, in my ignorance, which is the fulfillment. I believe that's St. John chapter 16. It 
It says, so he was getting ready to persecute these believers in the Messiah. But he was sincere in that. He thought he was doing the will of the Most High. It says, at midday, O king, you know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Let me check this off. Okay, this is Agrippa. Paul's defense before Agrippa. Hey, I'm watching this stuff on CNN with this. They keep showing the video of this guy, the, kill, the, the guy that tried to kill uh, uh, Trump. And they got all kind of videos. And they got people that's known fact. People were telling the police and the secret, trying to get to the Secret Service that there's somebody on the roof and it looks like they got a gun. So you got video on it. And they're talking about, well, I wonder why he really did that. It says law enforcement lost sight of shooter for 19. How the fuck? How the fuck you gonna lose sight? You got your law enforcement, secret service. We didn't know where the nigga went, but regular common people saw this nigga on their fucking roof, man. This this is not looking bad for America. This is not looking good for America at all. There's a new detail. New details of gunman actor actions before Trump rally shooting. Uh, sh uh shooting rally shoot shooter. Search how to build explosive. Well, he's dead. We can't. We don't got to talk to talk about him no more. He's dead. They, they these these regular pe everyday people saw this, and they're saying, well, "This guy's who, who's this crazy guy on the roof? And he looked like he got a rifle." They're talking to the wrong people. Anyway, let me get back into this. Now they now they're probably gonna take uh, you 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 slipping. Babylon, uh, you're slipping. That's, that's a topic. Babylon is slipping. Anyway, so we know that he was talking to Agrippa, right? I'm just checking something. So it's the same thing where he says, uh, then Agrippa said, Paul almost, almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would, I would to the, to the heavenly father that not only thou but also all that hear, hear me this day were both almost and and altogether such as I am except except these uh, bonds and when he had thus spoken the king arose up and and the go and when you before a judge you say good things in, to, to the judge you say you 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 know. He's good morning, Judge. How you doing? You know. So so, hey, that's a mystery. Now, I take it that Paul was playing a guy. He was finessing the guy. Unless Paul didn't know that he was a, a Edomite, he probably thought he was an Israelite because the Herodian the Herodian dynasty they look like Israelites. So anyway, let's come up here. So Paul is is explaining how he he became he, he became a follower of the Messiah. It's a uh, fourteen verse, Acts sixteen and fourteen. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I'm sorry. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice uh, speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuteth thou me? It is hard for thee uh, to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou, Lord? Now when he said, who art thou, Lord? He said, who art thou, sir? Sir, the word there is sir. It's not Yahweh Shai, it's not Yahweh the word there is sir. The word there is kairis, which means superior. And he said, I am in Hebrew. 
I, he didn't say Jesus, by the way. That's not a Hebrew word. He said, I am Yahawashai, whom thou persecuteth. But rise and stand upon thy feet. Now, did this actually happen? Master El Elazar, did this, or Chief Elazar, that's his title. I said, did this, did the Lord actually come to the Apostle Paul? And if the Lord came to the Apostle Paul, Yahawashai came to the Apostle Paul and instructed him as to what he should do. Did he do everything that our Lord told him to do? Did he instruct the people, the Gentiles? He became um, a, uh, uh, what you may call it, um, a, the, the apostles of the Gentiles. Therefore, I magnify up my office, Romans chapter 11. So did the most did the Lord come upon him, knock him off the horse, and convert him into the truth? But then he go he, he's instructed what to tell the Israelite foreigners, and um, he goes out and confuses them. He 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 goes out to bring confusion. That doesn't make it doesn't add up. The math ain't mathing. This is why we got to sit here and um, defend this gospel. Because there's no way in hell you can make that statement, and the Lord is being all is in His power. He's in His power, man. If He told the Apostle Paul, "Look, you're gonna say this, that, and the third to the Gentiles," and He did His own thing, why would the why would how would Shai allow Him to keep teaching? Who wrote the most books in the uh, in the New Testament? The Apostle Paul. So. Yeah, how is Shai gonna give him all this knowledge? He's gonna teach confusion, but it's in it, but it's part of the books. It doesn't make any, it doesn't add up, it doesn't make any sense. It said, But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I I have appeared unto thee to you for this purpose to make thee a minister. But the Paul Apostle Paul said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this nigga. Gotta say I'm gonna go. What he gotta say and I'm gonna teach my own shit. That didn't motherfucking happen, man. And by the way, this is the sifting process. Remember, we are the defenders of the faith. Ain't no the bishop. He's not gonna get on you about that. He's not gonna get. It. He gets on us because we get on him. And we get on him because he's going off. He doesn't like rebuke. Rebuke a wise man and he will grow even wiser. Rebuke a wicked man, I'm merely paraphrasing, and he will hate thee. So guess what? The bishop, he hates us. Because everything that we go into on him, we're not, let's just make up some shit about Nate. No. The MOTB, he's off. The hell doctrine, he's off. Friday, Sunday, on Saturday, Sunday, on the Sabbath is off. The new moon is the full moon is off. We're, we're having one, you can only have one wife off. If you have two wives, you're going to burn in hell. All that stuff is off. But when we say that, he watches our video, gets mad like a, like a baby, like a, like a spoiled child. Hey, it's, the scriptures say a child left to, left to himself shall become willful. He wants to do his own thing. Hey, the most high sifting you people out that ain't right. It said to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things which I will, I will appear unto thee. So here he's bringing confusion and the Lord keeps coming to him. Delivering, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. I'm sending you to the Israelites that don't know that they're the Israelites. To open their eyes. So Yahweh Shai came down, went to the Apostle Paul, gave him this knowledge, said, you, you, I made you a minister to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he's going out confusing people and Yahweh Shai is still going to give him information? Come on, dog. To open their eyes, hope open whose eyes? The Israelite foreigners. 
the Israelites that don't know that they were Israelites coming in, back into the fold. And to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto the Most High, that they may receive forgiveness of sins. Now I wasn't talking about Romans because the Romans never the Roman Romans the Roman people, the Edomites never received the law in the first place. So how are you gonna be forgiven if you never received the law? And inheritance, all inheritance only goes to Israel, inheritance for Israel among them which are sanctified by faith not the law you keep pushing that law thing that's why the apostle paul said in uh, galatians 3 he called them old, old foolish galatians but concerning the law he said you think you're going to be uh the, the justified through the law that was also in uh colossians uh 2 verse 16 don't let no man judge you concerning and then this guy nate's gonna say that's talking about animal sacrifice it's not talking about animal animal sacrifice it's talking about laws in general don't let nobody shove them laws down your even peter said that like i said gms the, from the leadership on down we are the true defenders of the gospel these other guys are not true defenders of the gospel by faith that is in me and them to the gentiles which are the israelites see vocab become no they're talking about actual gentiles that's why we don't want to, that's why we that's why i say call the cops on that guy that's a crazy pit person that should be in the same asylum some goddamn where getting feed, fed uh sicilian pizzas so now let me come over here let me come over here hey jonah didn't do the bidding of yahweh and what did the, what did yahweh do he said okay you don't do my opinion i'm gonna make you do it he made made him a fish swallowed him and he thought he was going to die he thought he was going to be uh digested that's why he said I'm in I'm in I'm, I'm in hell because I'm close to death. I'm close to this fish digesting me. And I become a meal to this fish. So he got it. The most high shook his ass up. So yeah, how was I gonna come down, make Paul a, a minister of the gospel to teach the Gentiles, and he goes out there confusing, deliberately confusing people, and Yahweh I don't do nothing, but let him have let all these books of Paul. Be, that's why the most I'm gonna start killing y'all motherfuckers, man. For playing, this is not shit to play with. You, you, hear, hear my word. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh gonna start killing you guys if you don't repent? But I, uh, Galatians 1 and 11. But I, a lot of you guys take this thing for a joke, and a lot of you guys do this for filthy Lucas sake. So I'm getting, oh, I'm getting paid on this shit. Let me keep on going. But I certify you, brother, that the gospel which was preached, preached of me is not after men. In other words, he taught men, but he was, he was given the, the, uh, the gospel through the Lord. The Lord knocked him off the horse. He's blinded for three days. Um, he said, you're going to be a minister. I made you a minister. You're going to teach the Gentiles, which are Israelites, in a Gentile state of mind. And and what did he do? He did he did exactly what uh, Yahweh Shai uh, said to do. And then he said in, 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 in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, he said, Knowing the terrors of the of the, of the the Most High, I therefore bes, therefore persuade men. Meaning, he knows if he don't do the right thing, he 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 knows what can happen to him. He knew that. He understood that. He said in in, in the book of Hebrews, it's a fearful thing to come into the hands of the Lord. I'm just merely paraphrasing what it said in the book of Hebrews. Um, 
He even prophesied concerning things that are that are coming to pass now. Peter prophesied. So Paul was just not not an apostle. He was an, he was a prophet. Peter was an apo uh, a prophet. It says for twelve verse, for I neither received it of men. A man didn't sit down and teach me this. Now, however, the Gamaliel taught him the law. Neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past and the, and the Jews' religion. You know what that means? How that beyond measure I persecuted the church of the Most High and wasted. He killed some of them. He put the order down to kill some of them. But he's gonna cut. But but he's gonna take all this. God, yes, Lord, I got it. I got. It, I got you, Lord. I got. It, I got it. The information. I'm gonna give it to the people. Let me confuse these people now. And profited in the, the Jews' religion above my elders, uh, my equals, um, and my own nation, meaning Israelite, being an Israelite, being more exceedingly zealous. Of the traditions of my father meaning the lords he was a master of the law he was raised up by a master of the law his father was a master of the law uh, so he he was um they said in Acts 4 that the the disciples who became apostles were not learned men guess what the apostle paul was a learned man he he was he was actually brought up by by a tutor gamaliel which was an expert of the law 15 verse it says but when it pleased the most high who separated me from my mother's womb that happened to jeremiah and called me by his grace uh, well i'm going to deal with this man i'm going to make him a disciple or uh, a minister uh, to push my word out but he gonna do what the fuck he gonna do and you how i know what's going on and not kill this guy or make a, a fish swallow him or get his ass stoned again. He went up into the heavens of heavens. The heavens of heavens of heavens. And he saw the paradise. And he saw the other side. He saw what the most high. Can do with you. If you ain't right. Meaning he can. He can show you the, his power. So he, show, he, show, he showed him everything in the spiritual realm. It says. Uh. And he actually died, by the way. For you people that are wondering, did he, did he die? Yes, he actually died. He, he had an out-of-body experience where his spirit um, left his body and he went, he went into the uh, fourth dimension. So he said, I saw things that I could not even uh, utter because they, I couldn't describe them. Somebody said, how great was this experience? I can't even describe it. It was so great. But he also knew the terror of the Most High. He also knew what the Most High could do to him. That's why he said what he said in Second, like I said, Second Corinthians five and eleven, knowing the terror of the Lord, because he knew the terror of the Lord. He knew it was a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the of the Most High. That's why he made them statements. Why would he, knowing these things, because he went up in the spiritual realm, do whatever the fuck he want? No, the Apostle Paul was not the author of confusion. It said to reveal his son um, and me that I might preach. The word there is prophesy. When you break that word up, go into the root of the word, the etymology, the word preach means to prophesy. Him um, among the Gentiles, among the Israelites like Cornelius. Cornelius came out of that and he found out he's an Israelite. Those Gentiles or those heathens that he was talking to were Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. In other words, he didn't have a physical teacher sit down. Peter and them didn't teach him. And it's going to tell you that. He's going to say it. He said, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia, because you had Israelites in Arabia. You had Israelites in Iraq, in Babylon. There was a church in Babylon. And returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years, so what was he doing for three years? He was getting taught and he was teaching. I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter 
and abode with him 15 days. Now the Lord had already gave him revelation, or revelations. But other of the apostles saw I none have um, saved James, the Lord's brother. That's why, you know, the, one of the brothers came up from uh, uh, Orlando, right? And he came up, he said, Shalom, I'm from Orlando. I said, Shalom. And I seemed like I brushed him off, which I didn't because I was, you know, saluting other brothers. And then I said, well, let me, I said, oh, this brother is from uh, Orlando. Let me go. So I said, hey, brother, hey, Shalom. I couldn't even have enough time to ask his name or nothing like that. But um, I said, well, enjoy yourself up here. Whatever the hell I said. You know, we're so busy that we don't do these chats. We don't we don't get together and hey, I'm coming out there to meet you guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna go to the club together. Nah, just do the work. Remember the apostle Paul did not talk to any of the apostles for three years. What do you think he was doing for them three years? He was getting the, the revelations from our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he was teaching people. That's why when he came around them, the scriptures say that they didn't trust him. Because he said, you know, this guy got bodies on him. He killed some of us. But it was said, nope, he's a vessel. It actually says that, that he, he was a vessel unto me. Let me go see if I can find that. I believe it's in Acts, if I'm not mistaken. Vessel. Okay, vessel. Okay, vessel. Let's see if I can find that. All right, 46 times. It should be easy to find. Okay, let me do this. It's 15. I think I found it. Acts 9, verse 15. Acts 9, verse 15. Okay, 13 verses the point. Oh, it says, and Lord, arise, go and go into the street, which is called straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for all, for one called Saul of Tarsus, for behold, he prayeth, and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias among, um, coming in, and put his, and, and put it, putting his hands on him, did he might that he might receive his sight let me do this the conversion of paul see acts 22 verse 6 to 16 uh acts 26 verse 12 to 18 Then I, Ananias answered, Lord, I, I have heard by many of this, by, by many of this man, how much evil he hath done to the saints at Jerusalem. Hey, this guy, he was killing our people, man. How you going to live? How you, this man going to be a man of the Lord? Because he got converted. That's what he was explaining to um, um, uh, Agrippa. Was it Agrippa? I believe it was Agrippa. It was, it was either Felix or Agrippa. Matter of fact, I can go back, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, let me see. I'll go back just to cover me. It says, uh, Chief Priest, uh, to bind him all that call upon thy name. Right. Because he was saying, look, don't call on the name 
or your how was shy, or if not, we're gonna lock you up or kill you. Fifteen verse, but the but yet the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. What did he say? What did our Lord say in uh, Acts twenty six? He said he made him a minister to teach the Gentiles, Israelite, Israelites scattered abroad that didn't know that they were Israelites, to bear my name, Yahweh Shai, before the Gentiles, the Israelites, and kings, also Israelites, and the children of Israel, also Israelites. The term is, I forgot the damn term, the term is, um, going through it the other day, Hendaya Chin, if I'm saying it right, but it means three in one. When it says the Gentiles are Israelites, kings are Israelites, and children of Israel are Israelites. Somebody help me out. Hendai attrition is one way of saying it. Hendai attrition. But there's another way you can say it. But Hendai attrition, let me see if I can look it up. It's not going to come up, man. I got to spell it correctly. Correctly. But like I said, when it comes, when it says Gentiles, Israelites, kings, Israelites, children, Israel, Israelites. For I, for I sh shew him how great things he must suffer for the name that for my name's sake. So they accepted him in. They said, Ma, nah, he was killing guys. We know for a fact he was killing guys, but, but well, the Lord forgave him and made him a vessel, um, made him a minister, made him a vessel of righteousness. So let me come back over here. Acts 26. Okay, it was a grip. I was right. It was a grip. I don't know why I said Philip. Philip. It was a gripper. Um, uh, one of the Herodians. All right. So now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you hear this. So Alizar is going to have to explain himself now. So let's come back here. Because Paul was not the author of confusion. He was damn sure not the author of confusion. He was the one that made that st statement. He said the Lord is not the author of confusion. So why would he make that statement and bring confusion? That's why the ap Apostle Peter said what he said. That his, 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 uh, his uh, breaking down of the scriptures and his knowledge goes over people's heads. So let's listen, let's listen, let's listen. You know that? What about it? So it, it Paul said he, wa he wanted him to be just like himself. Paul said he wanted Agrippa to be like him. When did, when did Paul's will become... And Paul knew about Esau. Paul knew that the only nation that was going to be delivered uh, are the Israelites. And what the precept you should have went to when this guy brought out Acts 26 was uh, Romans chapter 9, that the Lord is only dealing with... Uh, Israel, and then it says it's not dealing. It's, he's not the Lord's not dealing with Edom at all. He he mentions Jacob and Esau, and he said, "I'm not dealing with Je Esau at all. I'm only dealing with Jacob." So then you come back to Herod uh, Agrippa, Herod Agrippa, Agrippa, Herod Agrippa, and you ask him, "What nationality was uh, Herod Agrippa?" And they might not know. Then you tell them. He, he came from Herod the Great, from that line of Herod the Great. His, Herod the Great father was Antipater. Antipater was an Edomite. So all of them, that, 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 um, that flow chart, that, that tree, that family tree, it all goes back, it all goes back to the Edomites. So Paul knew that the, none of the Edomites could make it. So, that's, so he could have went to that. He could have he went right to Romans chapter 9. God's will. 
It well, didn't. well, he said. Well, Agrippa asked him if he would be, if he would make him a Christian. Paul juxtaposes his will from God's will to Romans nine. Go ahead. Well, Paul would never. Paul would not deceive a bunch of people in the room with Agrippa by saying that he. Would. Well, wait a minute. Paul said he 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 got you by uh, um. What did he say? Uh. Uh. What was the word? Uh. He got you by craft. The, the, I can't think of the other word. Um. Guile. 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 He got you by guile. Let's look up the word guile. So the Apostle Paul never used guile? Let's look up the word guile. See if I can... I'm a, I'm a lousy speller. I'm getting better. Like the J. Giles been. Angels in the centerfold. Let me see. Guile. Guile. Let's look up the word guile. Looking at that walk, walking corpse, <laughs> uh, Biden. It is embarrassing, man. Now I'm waiting for this thing to come up. Anytime I go to the blue letter, everything pops right up. Now is acting stupid. Bear me for a minute. See? Good gal came up. So it says here in Second Corinthians twelve verse sixteen, but be it so, I did not burden you, nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Let's look up, so let's bring, bring out some words. Let's bring out the word crafty. This is Paul speaking. Crafty, let's look up the word crafty. Skillful, clever, and a good sense. Uh, fit to undertake and uh, accomplish anything. Uh, dexterous um, dexterity um, a wise sarg sargacious skillful in a bad sense crafty cunning uh, connivish treacherous and deceitful so Paul said let's go back to it Let's use the word deceitful. But uh, but be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being deceitful, I caught you with guile. Let's go to the word guile. Oh, well, Paul would never say that to Agrippa. Man, he was playing Agrippa. Dulles. Crafty, deceit, guile.
So, so what the hell are you talking about? Your apostle Paul would never say such a thing like that. Well, I just read. I just read. Let me bring it back. I believe that's 2 Corinthians 12. 2 Corinthians 12. I caught you by God being crafty. Then he said, by my lie. He lied to him too. Let me see if I can find that. By my lie. Let's see if it comes up. Should come up. Okay, it doesn't doesn't come up. Um, let me try it this way. Bear me for a minute. Okay, it's written some other way. Um, somebody help me out. Can't find it. Anyway, so now let's come over here. Wanted all of them to be just like him. After Agrippa asked oh, him if he wanted him, him to be a Christian, you just Christian. make you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. You, you just make so you can call Paul this lazy okay. scholarship. Yes, he is. No. They don't want to no, go into. Okay. So he's got to address this now. He, the, the guy that appears to be an Edomite said, "Is Apostle Paul the author of confusion?" And you see what uh, Alizar said, Chief Alizar, whatever is you know. He said, yes, he is. So any, so basically he got all this information, a revelation from our Lord directly, directly. He didn't meet with any of the apostles for three years. Matter of fact, he met with the apostle Peter. He didn't, he didn't meet with the rest of them. Then you had the, uh, the Jerusalem council where he met uh, Peter and James. For three years, he was getting this information and he was going out there teaching um, ultimately the, the uh, Gentiles which are the Israelites in the Gentile state of mind so Paul was not bringing confusion because Yahweh Shai would have zapped him let's listen to a little bit more Agrippa the author of confusion? Yes, and the true no. understanding yes, of what happened uh, uh, in you, you that just situation. Make, you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. No. You're making confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. Anytime you see us rebuking somebody, we don't go on a personal attack. We deal with the doctrine. Anytime you see us rebuking somebody, we don't go on a personal attack. We deal with the doctrine. We got sticks at Kim. I feel like I'm deacon the guy in 2010. TMS was hating on me because I was riding in the bands. We don't go on a personal attack. We deal with the doctrine. TMS was hating on me because I was. That's against it for, for Alizar to make the statement that he was an author. Yes, he was an author of, the, uh, author of confusion. That's confusion in itself. Like I said, Yahweh Shai made him a minister. The, the most High had him killed by stone and he went up in the spiritual realm he saw this he had an out-of-body experience he saw what heaven is like he saw what the mo the power of the most high the majesty of the most high and he put him back in his body and he gonna get up and say i'm gonna still confuse people that does not make any sense man was riding in the 
Hassad was in a down place financially. And so I asked everybody to shoot him some cash out to help him get over his hump. Was on me cause I was riding in the bins. Hassad was in a down place financially. Got in common with vocab. It's the same damn thing. I don't know what's going on. As, as the, the crew say, it's not my business. But he ought to think very carefully of what's going down. It may, it may be consider, but it's about the elect. Uh, uh, you, you just make you're making Paul the author of confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. No. You're making confusion. Oh, okay. Is Paul the author of confusion? Yes, he is. No. Yes. Uh, 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 you, you just make you're making Paul the. See now, if I was in that audience, I would have looked at him. I was like, what? Maybe I would have stood there. Maybe I would have said, maybe I tapped him in the shoulder. Maybe afterwards I said, well, wait a minute, what, what do you mean by that? Like I said, you got a lot of guys that come in come in unawares, whether they're sincere or not. You got people that come into this truth that are not of the elect, that are sincere brothers, that are good, decent brothers, but they're not of the elect, and eventually they'll fall off. So these, these individuals around him, I don't know what happened after. I don't know if they pulled, this, pulled him to the side and said, what do you mean by that? And, you know, well, it says that uh, the Lord knocked him off the horse and made him a minister, the apostles of the Gentiles. So you got a lot of guys in this truth that, that are part of Israelite camps that look only to their leader. And whatever their leader says, they just, okay, that's it. The leader just said it. I'm going to go with it, which is not the case. Do you know how many times I, I corrected the seven? And they used to hate that, but the majority of the times, well, they would ch anything that I showed them, they would change it. And it would be Aria, the guy that would change it. Be, all the rest of them would look at me like they wanted to kill me, but Aria would look it over and say, you know what, Tahar is right. He, he broke it down right. So when you come into this thing, you got to be you got to be your own man. You got to be like the Church of Berea. Remember, the Apostle Paul bigged up and respected and honored and called them noble. Why? Because they didn't go by what I said. They checked everything that I said. They double checked what I said. When you come into this truth, this is not about a thing to get involved. Oh wow, there's wearing the fringes and all. Why I like the way he, he cursed out the white man. I'm gonna be down with this thing. No, it's you got to in order for you to be in this thing, you gotta and stay in this thing, you have to be a member of the elect. And a lot of these guys in these different camps out here, a lot of them are not members of the elect. Now I'm not saying that they're bad brothers, that they're not sincere. A lot of them brothers are sincere. Good brothers, decent brothers, sincere brothers that give you the shirt off their back have fell out the truth. But the most I ain't dealing with good decent brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's another topic the most I ain't dealing with good decent brothers he's dealing with the elect and the elect are not always decent the apostle Paul had people killed we read it in, uh, in Acts what was it? we read in Acts 12 uh, uh, Acts 26 they said this guy was killing motherfuckers man how are you going to be a, a man of the well Lord, the Lord gave, forgave him and made him a vessel to the Gentiles Anyway, okay, let me see what this is all about. Okay, so let me come back. Let me just see what's going on. Okay. IT outage shows how easy it is for Esau's dance to get done.
What else do I got? Cloud Strikes, uh, Outrage, Disruptions at Airlines, Banks, Hospitals, etc. A Thief in the Night. But I believe they did it. They did this thing to get rid of the whole money system, is the, the Great Reset. Okay. So that's it. With that, I'm going to say Shalom and keep defending it. We're, our job is to defend the gospel. Okay? With that, I'm going to say Shalom.